Welcome back to Mo Addicts, everyone. And on this week's episode of Where the Hell Has That Been? Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Where <laughs> the hell has it been? Well, it's been in my workshop for, when was it, February we took the engine out last year? Last year, yeah. Um, that was after, when, when, what drag race did it go in? Did it go in a drag race and then go wrong? Yeah, maybe. Oh no, you took Nick out and it went wrong. That will be the one. Right. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'm gonna pin myself in. Oh, 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 no. You've done another gearbox, haven't you? <laughs> so we took it out, broke stuff, and I was like, well, I need to get a gearbox. If you go back and look in our back catalogue, you'll see a bit of the process of what happened. So the gearbox went wrong. I found a uh, quite sequential five speed for it. I was like, yeah, sounds good. Gonna go for that. But while the box was out, I found a bottom end for it, which had billet rods and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. You just found loads of stuff. Yeah. All over the period. It's like, I was now going K24. Yeah, and all it's this. And then that's not a five minute exercise in itself. So go back, have a look a bit about all that sort of stuff. But anyway, it's back together. It runs and we're gonna drive it only up the road because it needs to be mapped by Gordon at Street Racers, thank you very much. Uh, so many people have helped me with the projects and I'll get into that a little bit later on. But anyway, that's it. It's realistically gonna make about 800 horsepower. That's what we're looking at. Um, no, you want on a pump thousand, gas. Didn't I you? do want a thousand, maybe on race ethanol. I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Go Gordon's gonna thousand. work his magic. Are you gonna show the people what you've actually done? I want it to survive, that's the main thing. More to the point, I wanna drive it out the road, see what you think. Yeah, we're not you going mad. show them what you've done. There's loads. What I didn't buy, number one. Wiper blades, didn't buy them. Um, no, anything that's important, you don't buy. No, 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 because the, the real fun stuff is where is it the back? The horses are in the back, Stu. Come I know. On. Come on. Look, I even cleaned the engine bay a little bit, only a little bit. You didn't. So, what did we buy? I'll get, actually, I've got stuff in the workshop as well to show you guys. Uh, this part of the turbocharger here, which you can't see in it because it's too far away, is the 0.84 turbine housing. That's very hot. Um, and we're going to go for a bigger exhaust housing. We're going to max out this 64, 66 turbo. I'm going to throw everything at it. I want 40 psi boost out of this uh, with flex fuel. Gordon's going to put flex fuel on it so that we can run ethanol, uh, a strong mix of that to get reliable, safe horsepower out of it. The Quaif gearbox has gone in it. Well, so we've got a Quaif shifter. I've yeah, got... have you seen the state of that? Oh, don't. Right, okay. So there's I, don't, a I bit... don't mean to be funny, right? It's like playing with your wing mirror, isn't it? Oh. Or your, your rear view mirror. There Start is, there is. yeah, I mean, there's a bit it of a story attached to that. Like, hang on, I'm gonna go to the driver's side because I haven't sat in this for a long time. There's a reason for this and I will explain it in a minute. But what I want to show the people is this. <laughs> I'll tell you a little story about. <laughs> I'll tell you a little story about how and why. Okay, cool. It's tiny in here. Has this got a smaller inside? Well, no. The gear stick's just got bigger. Right, it has. And the reason for that is this gear shifter is designed to go in a Honda, a front-wheel drive car, which doesn't have a tunnel here designed for the uh, fuel tank to sit in in the MR2. So actually, this shifter would be down on the floor. So it would be about another foot lower than what it is. So this is only for the meantime. This is just so that I can get it up to Gordon and he can map it and use it as is. Uh, it's offensive, offensive isn't I it? I know, I know. We're going to get around to that. We're going to have to you know chop, when you get old, down. you get old and you get a walking stick, you're like, oh, it's, a bit, it's like a bit like that, isn't it? It is a bit like that. But I, I did go in, I did get in going, is it in neutral? No, what no, knob? Yeah, you don't do that. You've got to pull it forwards and backwards. Talking about knobs. Talking about knobs and Old. Well, yeah, it's my birthday today. 41, thanks very much. So you're gonna drive this Send me a bottle of gin in the post, that's my tipple. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, the shifter is high. Yeah, we'll get around that. It's got a... Uh, um, there's, a there's a button on top, isn't there? Woo! No, there's no buttons, but there's a wire because it's got a strain gauge in the gear knob, which when you pull on it, it cancels the ignition. It cuts the ignition momentarily to deload the gearbox for it to go into its next gear. Thanks to Big Man Ting Performance, they supplied us with that. Uh, Jamie, you sorted us out there. Um, we've had to, there's, it's not a straight, nothing is straightforward. We've had to make a plate, I had to go and get a plate cut and then get it machined so that we've got something to mount the gear shifter to. Um, there's, there's still other bits that need doing, but all of the, fundamentally it's together and it's, and it's drivable. It, it works. So really, all, we, all it's got to do is go to Gordon Yep. And then he's going to tune the gearbox, max out the turbo with your new housing. Yes, or exactly your inlet that. or whatever it and is. And we've got bigger injectors. The what, sorry? The fuel tech. Yeah, fuel tech FT600 is what's going in it. And that has the capability of cutting the ignition. Cutting the ignition. That door shut. 
that has the capability of cutting the ignition to allow the gear shift to happen. So um, the, the reason it's going to Gordon for that is that I don't have the time and he's got far better skill at wiring than I have uh, in order to, more patience than anything, because he's going to do a nice job of actually wiring it in. So I'll have all my telemetry in front of me uh, and it's fully tunable. So we have, you have, told the, have you told the people about yeah. your drive shaft? Yes, we did do that last time, we but did? it's got DSS 1,000 horsepower drive shafts in it. I mean, they were loads of money alone. Just, but it's very easy to say, oh, I want a car that's got 800 horsepower. It's, it's, it's not just having a car that's got 800 horsepower. It's all the supporting stuff that goes with that. It's a mega project. Be prepared to spend twice what you expected to spend. That's the bottom line of it. Okay, but, so um, I've got a yeah. question. Oh, here we go. All right, Beyonce. I, I've got go. a question. I've got a question. So, what have you... Yes. Done on the car. What have I done on the car? What have you done? Fitted the turbo? No, 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 no. Since it's been off the road. Fitted the drive shafts? Did you put the drive shafts in? Yes. Yeah, did the drive shafts. What else? Or was it Captain Barnes? Hit me. No, he didn't do it all. I did one side at least. Okay. Uh, what else? What else have you I done? I cleaned it. To give you I cleaned it. Mr. Teapot over Yeah, it. what are we doing later on? Look, I'll mate, be fitting your coilovers. No, I'm attempting to fit the coilovers. Well, I'll carry on cleaning my MR2 then, and I'll right. just see how that goes. But what I'm trying to say is, well, you are the like the master tech and everything else. And I, have everyone to point, else. I have to point out at this moment, right, this very week, this is going to Gordon's for mapping, so it's got to be ready to go. The Nova's going to Robinson Racecast to have a new cooling system, warp pump radiator fitted. I've got to get that there. On top of that, the Datsun. That's a whole project that's going to be going to a show in a week's time. The window rubbers aren't correct. Will it get there? Will it not? Am I going to do a burnout? I've got another turbo for it. That's whole, and this is all in eight days we've got to do all this. Oh, and I have to run a business beer dad as well at the same time. So, Been yeah. off the road for a year. Yeah. And two months. I know. Well, I've got, <laughs> I'm doing bits and I've got stuff, got stuff going on. Anyway, it's my birthday. Leave me alone. Yeah, that's fair enough. Well, let's go for a birthday drive, you two, because if yeah. you get in there, there's a chance the drive shaft will fit itself. No, if, not if, these ones, trust me. If we can me. position the camera well enough to get past the gear stick, we'll be all right. <laughs> that is the point. Okay, then, let's, let's go. go. So, we are literally just going up the estate. It's because obviously nothing's tuned and dropping whatever. Yeah, I mean, we can't afford it's got. Can't Another, afford to break it. For those before. of you who don't know, if you put a larger, what's happened is we've got the same tune and the same injectors and it's tuned to a two litre. So we've got another 400 cc's of capacity on the same tune. So I can't put any boost for it because it will run lean because there's more capacity, so there's more air. Uh, so we're gonna drive up the road. I will say one thing that I did fit, actually. Okay. Well, I fixed my power steering, didn't I? The power steering never worked in this car. Oh, mm. and it yeah. did have power steering. So we well, did was... have power steering. The power steering light was always on, but remember what we found on the engine bay? Oh, oh like the Mickey Mouse, yeah. yeah he yeah. chewed for all the wiring, so um, and including the wiring for the power steering. So I repaired that. I mean, it's very agricultural in here. It needs a bit of tidying up. We got time for that. That's fine. Uh, I've still got the comp uh, stage something or other twin plate clutch. So it's pain in the ass to drive, but it's actually all right. It's all right. But it does look like you're about to give a fist bump to the people. That. Right. Uno. Oh. Still loud. That. Yeah. That, loud. That's not. I'm not sure if that's a road car anymore. Yeah. Very, we had that conversation. Road car. It's not road car. Just the gearbox going in itself. Right. Yeah. Listen to this gear change, right? Like. That is awesome, isn't it? That is cool. I do love it. Uh, it's going to be, on full beans, it's going to be a monster. Do you reckon you're going to get it wheeling at the pod? Yeah, well, yeah, it should do. It's got the drive shafts for it. It should. Have now, this is the thing I have to do a bit of working out. So you go all the way forwards, and you lift that up. Yeah. Then you go forwards again. There you go, that's reverse. <laughs> <laughs> what effort that is. Yeah, it's a bit of a ball, eh? That clutch, though. Right, that should be neutral. That's neutral. Ooh. There's the... Unfortunately, I can't go mad with it. I'd like to, but... Yeah. Oh. Still a street car, though, isn't it? No! It, the thing is, it used to be bad with the engine noise and everything else, but now you've got the gearbox in it, it's all oh, you can hear. Yeah. Can't go too bad. How many 
think it is, is it? Five. Five speed. <laughs> you feel like such a hero driving. Oh. Are we going to go in? Do you want to go in? We'll go in. And at the end of the day, it was only going to show, but well, you could tell how quick it It's like a DSG. <laughs> well, it's something like that. Manually do it. Oh. So you do that, right. and that'll be first. Yeah. And then you lift that, and you. That's neutral. There we go. And then you go again for reverse. For reverse, that's it. See? Streetcar. The uh, box is a little bit noisy. I know, I've, I've heard from a few people there aren't noisy well, than a you, normal box. Any sequential gearbox in any car that I've seen or been in, they're loud. Yeah, they're just that's just how they are. The only know? ones that I you can hardly hear them in is like when you're in the Porsches. You know when they have them look, the little sequential move forwards and backwards? Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. They're quite quiet. Yeah. But... One of them is, is... It's proper. But is that because they're... Are they bulletproof? Well, they are. I mean, they're, they're designed... The gears are designed... I think they've got straight-cut gears. I think, you know, comment if I'm wrong here, but uh, I don't know loads about the Crave boxes, but they're designed so that they're straighter, so that they can transmit more torque. I believe right. that is the, that's the thing. So I shouldn't have any problem. I've got 1,000 horsepower drive shafts in there, and the gearbox should take that all day long. So it's good to build a car to... 1,000, 1,100 horsepower, knowing you're going to run it at 800 on pump gas and a little bit of ethanol because it's going to be safe at that power. I mean, any of you that's driven an MR2 with 600 horsepower, that's a fast car. I mean, you've experienced yeah. that. It's a lively car. So one with 800 with a sequential. The sequential is really what makes it feel a lot faster. I'm just, no I'm just thinking time. of, because at some point, there's, there's obviously, probably, actually, obviously, probably, more than likely, you're probably going to go up against a DC5. Yeah. Well, because that's the Because it's plan. a similar set setup. Mm-hmm. But that is, have to be. I don't know. I mean, I'd say that would have to be at is, the pod, but see, we'll have to see. I think um, this is probably not losing so much power through the transmission, like a four-wheel drive one. So you yeah, know, it's just mid-engine, and that's the rest of it. So it is. It's just, it's just a traction because it's rear-wheel drive. Exactly that. I'll get some good tires on the back, and they have a habit. There's all sorts of stuff I'm learning about. Um, you know uh, about this sequential situation i've had mr2 for years as you know i want to know if it wheelies that's what i'd really but the like pod i can't see a reason why it won't it's built it is built for because it. there's times when we've gone out in it and you put your foot down and it feels like the front end it is will lifting do. yeah and if it's going to be another 200 horse on top yeah and that's also failing to mention as well that that's on really hard suspension the springs on this on the coil it's got bc coil overs on it i think and they're really firm springs for drag racing it needs to be a bit softer so it should be nicer once you get some different springs on it it'd be nice on the road and for launching as well it'd be a bit more progressive and stuff like that it's a bit harsh like I say, you can drive up the road, you can feel it. it's very like... Gadong, gadong. Yeah, it's always been harsh, though. Mm. It's like when I took it up against you in the Nova. Yeah. It was horrible, and that was on a flat runway. I know, and, and it was that like... wasn't... <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even its full beans, either. No, I mean, no, you no. You remember no. we first went out in it when it was like 680 horsepower? It was oh. blinding. Really, really powerful, Scary. really fast car. Because you had so. more boost put through to second, didn't you, in the end? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, had, uh, it was boost by gear originally, so it was like a bar of boost in first and then progressively more than that but now with this we should be able to go full send but we can actually map traction control into the fuel tech so um it's all it's all ready to happen loads of stuff and when's that with gordon's well uh either this weekend or next weekend but he's gonna have it for probably a, a few weeks to do, doing the wiring and that so what we'll probably end up doing is going up to gordon Mm -hmm. Speaking to Gordon about the car, obviously yep. we'll, we'll document the, the journey up there. Do that, see Gordon, see what he thinks and yep. what his predictions are yes, of the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, leave it with him. We're not going to obviously film all the wiring. We're not going to go up there for that. Um, but we are going to go up there for when it gets mapped. Yeah. Um, are you going to have a race fuel map on it though? Yes, 100%. So what we're doing is, as I mentioned earlier, we're putting flex fuel in it. So it's a uh, it's a sensor that goes in the return line of the fuel system. Yeah. So you can just pour ethanol into your fuel and it, there's a gauge in the fuel tech that says what percentage of ethanol is in there. So right. when, if it's mapped to, say, a uh, 50-50 mix of ethanol and 99 RON fuel, um, it will map it to that, but it'll only run that amount of ignition uh, uh, timing when that amount of ethanol is in there. So yeah. it's still safe. It's automatic. It does it all itself. So clever. So uh, you know, all the time it's got 50% ethanol in it, for example, then it will um, then it will be able to run whatever the peak power it makes at the time. But if you were to go, can you go full race fuel? 
Pro you won't need to. If you're running flex fuel, you probably won't need to. I may do. I may do. I might just drain it before I go up there. I don't know what the difference is. Well, the thing is, if you put a little amount in it enough to do the runs and you've got fuel and you've got race fuel, yeah. surely you can drain the tank. Yeah. Do a race fuel map just for like. Yeah, Drag nothing racing. stopping us. Yeah, nothing stopping us doing that at all. I think I'm going to see how it goes. If he says I might take some race fuel up there, we'll see. It's all prepared. I'm for sure it. it's he's got, got some. It's got the 85 lines, pump, all that sort of stuff. The fuel system is ready for a thousand horsepower as well. So it'd be interesting. Be interesting to see how you get on. I'm good. I'm oh. looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so yeah. So that is. So other than going. that, um, we we'll, might as well wrap up the video here, haven't we? Yeah, if you want to. So nice uh, yes, obviously this is getting a bit more traction now. There's a lot more stuff happening with it. Um, the next time you'll see this is us going up to Gordon and talking to Gordon about the car. Mm. Um, and then again, as we said earlier, going up for when it gets mapped mm. and then obviously first drive of it. And then we'll see if we can, if it's all set up and there's no issues, we'll probably have a chat with Jamie. Yeah. See if we can get on a track battle with him. Yeah. So, yeah cause absolutely. it'll be, it'll be good cause there's similar setups. No, yeah. You've got the K20, sort of K20 or K24, the sequential, sequential. Yeah. Rear wheel drive, four wheel drive is mm -hmm. going to be different. But, mm -hmm. uh, other than that, that's really. Might it, even have a shorter gear stick by then as well. Who yeah, knows? maybe. It'll save you punching the window screen. I know. It? It's a little bit, but, bit aggressive. But there you have it, ladies and gents. If you're into Honda stuff, if you're into Toyotas, if you're into anything like this, follow this because there's some good stuff happening with it. Yeah, there's going to be some cool stuff and then get on a drag strip. Anyway, thank mm. you very much, everyone. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell when you can so you can get notified of future content and obviously with future stuff with this. We've also got stuff with the Escort mm -hmm. coming up. Yep, that's Escort, Datsun. We're at Petrol Hedonism, do not forget that. Mm. There is a discount code for Petrol Hedonism for your tickets to get in, which is in a couple of weeks. No, it's next week. Next, end of next week, yeah. End of next week. So uh, it's Motor Addicts 15 to get your 15% off of the tickets. There we go. Uh, other than that, we'll see you there. If we don't see you there, we'll see you in one of our next videos. Let's go. Speed it up, 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 speed it up. Go faster, ayy. Go faster, ayy. Go faster, ayy. Go faster, ayy. I don't wake up, go dumb. I'm pretty guy like a nine.